it's now time for Energy Insights, where you get an inside view and local perspectives of all the oil and gas progress going on in the Mid-Ohio Valley. This program is being brought to you by the Southeastern Ohio Oil and Gas Association and can be heard every Saturday at 9 a.m. on local radio WMOA AM 1490, and ESPN Radio WJAW FM 100.9 and AM 630. It's now time for the show. Here's Johnny Wharf, your local host. Johnny Wharf on a Saturday morning with Dr. Bob Chase. This is Energy Insights brought to you by the Southeastern Ohio Oil and Gas Association. We sit at Merida College when we do this program. And, and so maybe a little background uh, noise in the back as we're at a, at the tail end of a trade show. But this is certainly a place that you spend a little time at, right? You're used absolutely, to being here. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a great place to be. You're going to roll out a little volleyball when we're done talking to you. That's exactly right, too. Yep. <laughs> Talk a little bit. I've got a guy, a buddy of mine, that you know well. But he will send me on a, I'd say a quarterly basis, he will say, hey, I just called a gas company and you can get this price uh, extended to, you know, 2023 or you can get this one till this time and here's the 800 number. And so we, you call and then they let you change that price and lock it in and then you're not stuck to it, obviously, because you can change it again in another quarter. What is all that about as it relates to natural gas? Okay, uh Every consumer in, in Ohio is entitled to go out and shop for their own natural gas price. Um, if, if you go onto the Internet, if you have Internet access, and most people do anymore, uh, you go to a site called Apples to Apples for Natural Gas, and you can compare prices that a whole variety of suppliers these are companies in that are Ohio-based or even outside Ohio, uh, but they quote prices for your natural gas that you're buying in your home. Now, Dominion is the utility that services us all. They deliver our gas, and everybody pays Dominion a fixed price to have the gas delivered, but you can buy your own nat- natural gas by locking in a price. So if you go to the Apples to Apples website, Uh, You can look at uh, all these individual companies, and they'll quote, for example, a price for natural gas on an MCF basis. One MCF is 1,000 cubic feet, and that's how people buy gas in their homes. And one company might have a price of $2.39 an MCF with a 12-month contract. Another company might have a variable price of natural gas that's lower than that, but if the spot, the spot price of natural gas increases, that variable price will increase. And we all know when prices go up. Sure. In the wintertime, yeah. right? So if you can lock in a fixed price at a low rate, you can save yourself some money. So, for example, uh, I went online in August, and I found uh, a natural gas supplier. I won't mention their name because I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, I can't do that. But this particular producer had the lowest natural gas price of all the companies that were on there and I locked in a price of two dollars and 39 cents in MCF for a full one-year period now there were several other companies that offered one-year prices like that but they were all higher some as high as three dollars and 59 cents in MCF now all that's tied to the spot price of natural gas that that's where supply and demand comes in where do these prices come from well Around here, we have <clears throat> we've done a great job uh, discovering and producing natural gas from the shale, and because gas has been so plentiful, the price of natural gas has come down. Spot price right now is, is averaging around two dollars and fifty cents in MCF, which is why the price a consumer pays is going to be typically higher than that by thirty, forty, or fifty cents. And that's why you, you go onto this website and, and and try to find a price like that. What's going to what, then? Where's the fluctuation come in on that as it pertains to this area? Right. The, the fluctuation in gas price comes in uh, b- because mainly because of the whole domestic picture, how much gas we're using in the United States, and when we're using that gas. So, if you were to go online in the winter time to try to find a gas price, you're going to find that the price is going to be a lot higher, uh, which is why I always look in the summertime to lock in my gas yeah. prices because prices are down. So, it, it, you know, it's supply and demand. 
right. Fascinating stuff. We thank you for your time. We're out of time, but appreciate it very much, Dr. Bob Chase. Thank you for listening to Energy Insights, brought to you by the Southeastern Ohio Oil and Gas Association. Tune in every Saturday at 9 a.m. on WMO and ESPN Radio, WJAW, as Johnny Wharf brings you your local and inside perspectives of the oil and gas progress going on in the Mid-Ohio Valley.